But first, let me take some thumbnail pics to get that quick bait. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not. But I might. I mean, I've put worse things on the internet. Let's get real. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads because I upload a lot and I live stream every Sunday. So if you hit the bell, that'll make sure that you're notified of all of those wonderful things. Today, we are going to be demoing, reviewing, talking about the Ole Henriksen. I always have to say that very slowly. Ole Henriksen Power Peel. I thought it was called number, oh my God, my dog. I can never film without him moving. Get in, get in. Oh boy. Okay, sorry. Every time I start filming, he starts scratching his ass, licking his ass, doing all those fun things. So today we're gonna demo, review, and talk about the Ole Henriksen power peel. So let me tell you a little bit about this. First of all, Ole Henriksen was nice enough to send this to me for free. So I'm so excited to try this because Ole Henriksen is like a really big brand. Um, this isn't sponsored by the way. They didn't pay me to do this. They just sent it to me and I am free to review it whether I like it or not. So let me tell you about it. So it's a power peel system. It says it's a three-step system and let's see, you polish, you peel, and you soothe. So you use the almond polish facial scrub, then you peel using the lemon facial peel, and then you soothe with the chamomile comfort mask. And it says that this transforms skin tone and texture, and you should see a difference after just one use. So when I saw that, I was like, this has my name in a box because it's transformed your skin tone and your texture. If you don't know, I have very problematic acne prone skin. I have a lot of dark marks, which you can't see because I have makeup on, but I'm about to take it off. And I have um, very large pores. So skin tone, texture, I'm all about it. I am the perfect person to try this out. So the first step is the almond polish facial scrub and it says apply the facial scrub to a clean, damp face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wash off all this makeup, get it all off, leave my face damp, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the polish. So let me go take this shit ton of makeup off. I'll be right Wigs back. Wigs off, makeup's off. How different do I look? And I left my face, I'm sure you can tell, I left it like pretty damp. Let me move the mic. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Okay, I left my face pretty damp so that I could really scrub this in. So I don't even know if you can tell, but the seal is still on. Haven't even opened it yet, so let's get this bad boy open and get to scrubbing. So when you open it up, oh, this is what it looks like. I didn't realize that. There's like these, so you get six, six uses. So they come in little packs like this. That's so cool, I didn't know that. And you get six of these. I forgot to mention this is $50. So let's see. It says, apply almond polish, polish facial scrub to a clean, damp face. Gently massage in a circular upward motion for one to two minutes. Buff away dead cells. Rinse using warm water and, with warm water and the complexion sponges. Are these good? Yeah. So these are the complexion sponges. Okay, so what do you do? Pull tab to open. Okay, did I do that right? Ah, I see. So everything is in here. So this is the polish. Oops, I probably shouldn't have done that. So it comes out, but I probably shouldn't have taken it out. But I know this is number one. Okay, so, oh, it says, okay, good, oh my God, I'm all over the place. This is step one, they're numbered on the back, so if it does come out of the little packet here, it's step one, two, three. So let's do the facial polish. So what does it smell like? This is what it looks like. It's like a white scrub. Oh, that smells like almonds. That smells good. It smells like a better version of the St. Ives Almond Face Scrub, if you've ever smelled that. Okay, scrub to a clean, damp face 
massage in a circular motion for one to two minutes to buff away dead skin cells. This feels like um, St. Ives face scrub, but a more intense version. Like it feels like the granulated little balls in there are a lot bigger. I wonder if you have sensitive skin, if this would bother you. Cause you actually feel, it feels like a light, a very light scrub. It doesn't bother me, but for those of you that have really sensitive skin, I'm not sure if this would bother you. I love it. I'm like scrub away everything. Scrub it all off my face. I don't want any more texture. I'm so sick of it. And honestly, I feel like this could last me two uses. Look at, I've used, um, I'd say like half of this container, half of what's in here and my face is covered. So can I save this or is it bad? Maybe I'll save this. Maybe I can use it for more than like six uses because there's still about half in there that I could use. So I think I'll like try to reseal that and save it. So I'm just going to do what it said and just keep going in uh, circular motions. But I definitely feel it scrubbing. It just feels like to me like a nice light facial scrub. And I love the smell. If you've ever smelled the St. Ives almond, I think it's like an almond face scrub. That's exactly what this smells like. Just a lot more intense and a lot more pleasant. I love it. All right, so it says to do it for one to two minutes, but my skin is not sensitive at all, and I want the maximum results. So I'm just gonna let this scrub sit on my face for like three more minutes, and then I'll rinse it off, and we'll go to step two. Wait, actually, it says that when you rinse it off with warm water, you're supposed to wet the complexion sponge, comes in the box, wet one of these, and use it to wash it away. So that's what I'll do, and I'll come back, and we'll do step three. But first, let me take some thumbnail pics to get that quick bait. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not. But I might. I mean, I've put worse things on the internet. Let's get real. <laughs> okay, face is clean. And it, these little complexion sponges are so cool. So I'll show you close-ups. It looks like a flat piece of paper in here. And then as soon as you put water on it, it expands into this cute little sponge. And it really helped to get that face scrub off. That stuff, you really need to like continuously rinse to get it off. It's very, um, not thick, but it does stick to the skin. It gives you a really good scrub. I have to say, I don't think I've ever felt my skin this clean unless I had like a professional facial. Like my skin just feels really clean and this helped a lot to continue the scrubbing while rinsing away the scrub. I really like this little thing. I wonder how long I can reuse it. And it doesn't smell like anything. I have like fluff in my nose. Okay, so step one is done. So step two, it says that this is the peeling part. It says it's a blend of glycolic and lactic acids combined with AHA, rich orange and lemon extracts, and it helps smooth skin, reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles and discoloration, which I have a lot of, revealing a radiant, youthful looking complexion. So you apply the peel evenly across a dry face. Okay, my face is dry. A slight cooling and tingling sensation may occur leave on for two minutes and do not rinse. Follow with step three. So I'm definitely leaving this longer for more than two minutes. Well, you don't rinse it off anyways. I'm just gonna wait a little longer before I put on step three. So this is step two here. I'm gonna open it and put it all over my face. Sorry, I keep touching my nose. I feel like I have hair in my nose, but I don't feel anything. Okay, let's do step two. Oh. Step two looks like literally a clear jelly. I don't even know if you can see that. And it smells like lemon jelly. That's what it smells like. So let's put it on. I don't think I'm gonna need all of this for my whole face. It feels like very thin, like lightweight moisturizer. It feels very light. And it actually feels soothing after doing that facial scrub. If any of you have tried that facial scrub that have um, sensitive skin, let me know if that bothered you. Because for me, it felt like a really great scrub, but I was just imagining if you have sensitive skin, I wonder if that would be irritating to your skin. And honestly, guys, they give you a lot of product in here. Like I've already covered my whole face. I'm trying not to spill it. And there's still so much product left in there. I feel a little bit of tingling, but nothing like too intense. 
It feels like little pricks. Like someone's like doing a little prick with a safety pin, but not everywhere. Seems to be like just right where I have my large pores, which hopefully means it's working. So let's see. It says apply evenly across a dry face. A slight cooling and tingling may occur. Leave on for two minutes. So I'm just gonna put some more because there's so much in here. I feel like, should I be using more? Okay, so I still have half the container left. So again, just like step one, I'm just gonna like tape it. I don't wanna waste it. I'm just gonna tape it closed and save it to use again. Um, I feel a little bit of tingling, like like I said, where basically I feel the tingling where I have large pores. So I feel tingling on my nose and like right around here on my cheek area. I described it as like a safety pin pricking you. It's not even that dramatic. It's just like a little slight burning. Like on a scale of one to 10, I would say it's like a 1.5. It's very, very light. Um, so I'm gonna, they say leave this on for two minutes before you do step three. No, 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 I want this to work. And I don't have sensitive skin at all. If you have sensitive skin, I say follow the instructions. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. So I'll be back after this has been on for 10 minutes and we'll move on to step three. Okay, so I've officially had this on for like 10 minutes. It's basically dried down. It's just like sticky on the face. The tingling was not bad at all. I told you guys, like on a scale from one to 10 and 10 being unbearable, like childbirth pain or worse, this was like a 1.5 or a one. It was just very light tingling. So now let's go in with step three. So it says step three is the chamomile comfort mask. It's a soothing clay mask with evening prim primrose seed and chamomile extracts which help to calm balance and comfort the skin so it says you apply the mask directly over step two leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse using warm water and the complexion sponges so you use the sponge again to rinse it off and then for optimum results use the ole henriksen moisturizer or facial oil so Let's open up step three. Something tells me I'll have leftover step three because they give you a lot of product in these little capsules. Ugh. Okay, open up, buddy, open up. Ooh, that smells like, like rose and chamomile. These all smell really good. And this is like a white, like clay. It's literally like a white, thin clay. That smells so good. Ooh, it's cool too. So if you have sensitive skin, like if step two really irritated you or tingled, this would be the part to calm it down. It feels really nice. But for me, the tingling wasn't bad at all, so. But it just feels very, it feels like it says what it does. It feels very calming. All right, so I've got step three on. It says leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I will then rinse it off and I'll come back and I'll tell you my final thoughts on this. Okay, so I just finished using the little complexion sponge to rinse off that clay mask. I have to say, when you rinse off the clay mask, it's a very relaxing experience because it turns into like a very silky face wash that you're just rubbing all over your face. It feels very nice. Final verdict after the first impression, my skin feels very clean and actually feels firm. I've never had that happen after an at-home treatment and it feels smoother. Do I look different? I'm looking at myself on the camera. First of all, I need to fix my headband because my headband looks crazy, but I have some on my arm over there. Do you guys see that? I feel like my skin tone looks more even. Am I like seeing things? I actually suffer from like um, body acne. So I'm wondering if like the excess stuff that I have, I might actually like do it from the neck down because you can even see it. But like, I feel like my skin feels firm. It feels soft and I feel like I see a difference in complexion. 
after one use, that's pretty amazing. I actually really like this so far. I'll give you guys an update. What I've been doing is I try out these skincare products and then I keep using them for a week and I'll give you an update on the blog. So the blog post won't be live as soon as this video go live. It goes live. But once the blog post goes live, my update review, like one week review, I'll leave a link to my blog down below. I've really been enjoying blogging a lot. It's so fun. So check the link down below for the blog. Hopefully this blog post will be up with an update. But if not, it's coming soon. I really like the way my skin feels. If any of you have tried this, let us know in the comments down below how you like it. I'm really interested to hear from you folks that have sensitive skin. Like, did this bother you? Like, to me, I don't have sensitive skin at all, and it, I felt a little bit of tingling. It felt like it scrubbed my face clean, and I really liked it. But I wonder if you have sensitive skin, if this is too harsh for you. I saw, I looked at reviews online at Sephora, and I saw a couple of reviews of girls that said they had sensitive skin, and it was fine for them. They just didn't leave it on too long. I really like this, guys, and I'm not kidding. I feel like as I look at myself in the camera, I can see a difference in my skin tone. I can't believe that after one use. So... I'm gonna keep using this. I have so much extra product in the capsules. I feel like this says that it's six uses, but honestly, I have so much left in these capsules, I could probably make this work for like 12 uses. So I really like this so far. Check the blog for an update. That's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any more reviews, live streams, uploads, and I will see you next time. Bye.